So San Francisco 49ers defensive end Nick Bosa made a little bit of news after Sunday night's game between the San Francisco 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys when he decided to drop in on the post-game interview with Melissa Stark and Brock Purdy and George Kittle, and I forget the running back's name, who had a decent night Sunday night. When he dropped into the interview and he had, oh my gosh, he had a Make America Great Again hat on. (gasps) Oh, the horrors. As you can see here in this photo from Awful Announcing, article by Ben Axelrod. Uh, There's also another article about that over Breitbart by Warner Todd Houston. But before I get into that, folks, just want to take the time to thank everybody that tunes in to my content, my videos, my channel. And the best way you can support my channel is to give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. And also, if you haven't yet, I don't know why you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And don't forget, before you leave, to uh, leave a comment in the comment section down below. So now, let's get into the whole Nick Bosa situation, shall we? The left is mad in Nick Bosa. Now, some people will say, well, well, how is this different than Colin Kaepernick making a political statement by kneeling for the national anthem? Well, you just answered that question. It is different. All he did was he popped into a post-game interview, uh, basically... I don't know. What do you want to call it? Photo bombing? I don't know. And uh, pointed at the hat and went Trump 2024 and left. That's all he did. He didn't make a spectacle, didn't make a big deal. That's all he did. So, according to Awful Announcing, Nick Bosa crashes teammates post game interview wearing a MAGA hat. <gasps> oh my gosh, a MAGA hat. Nick Bosa's political leanings have never been much of a secret. But in case anyone was still wondering, the San Francisco 49ers star defensive end made his support for Donald Trump clear following his team's victory over the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night. As NBC's Melissa Stark interviewed 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy, tied in George Kittle, running back Isaac Guerinardo. I hope I pronounced that right. I apologize if I didn't. On the field after the 49ers 30-24 win, Bosa... Snuck into the frame. We have actually have some video of that. It's about 12 seconds long. So here you go. You guys had scored six points in the first half. What was said during halftime? Hey, (laughs) all right. Nick Bosa with a message there. Uh, What was said to make the adjustments offensively at half? To me, I, I got, I see nothing wrong with that. I see nothing wrong with that at all. I mean, he just dropped in, pointed at the hat, and off he went. Melissa Stark said, all right, Nick Bosa with a message there, and then she continued with the interview. So he was asked about his little display of support for Trump during the post-game press conference. And this... In my opinion, this is how athletes should handle these things. So here you go. Would appear to be a political statement. Um, I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I think it's an important time. Wow. Why can't more athletes do stuff like that? I mean, real, real simple, real easy. I'm not going to get into it. Thanks. Next. As one might imagine, Bosa's public endorsement of Trump elicited quite the reaction on social media, with many noting the irony of the support it received from the shut up and dribble crowd. That was Laura Ingram who said that to um, LeBron James a few years ago when LeBron started making his political statements. But, again, different from LeBron back in the day, and as he continues to do, Bosa just, hey, see here, 
Okay, out. See ya. Some also drew parallels to a former 49ers player whose public political statements seemingly ended his playing career. Yeah, that's because that player decided to disparage our national anthem. Not only disparage the national anthem, but... Um organized protesting police and other individuals. That's all I'm going to say about that. A fate that the four-time Pro Bowl pass rusher surely won't suffer. Oh, 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 I bet. I bet those on the left wish he would. And we're going to get into the comments here in a second. In fact, here we go. His teammates all being like, oh, not this shit again in unison. No, that's not what their looks were. Bosa the simpleton. Really? This person here, love this. Thank you, Nick Bosa. Didn't know you before, but we'll follow you now. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> we did it, Joe. <laughs> Uh, this person here obviously didn't like it. He decided to puke all over himself. Remove women from NFL sideline reporting. Why? What's wrong with women reporting from the sideline? Well, as a lot has changed since the last time a 49er tried to make a political statement. No problem with politics and sports this time. Um, th this is totally, this is apples and oranges comparing Colin Kaepernick to Nick Bosa. Nobody likes Bosa. I, I've never had a trouble with either of the Bosa brothers, Nick or Joey. Just dribble the ball. And it's kind of hard to dribble a football. Just saying. It's funny how the right told LeBron to shut up and dribble. That's because LeBron was making a spectacle of himself. Again, apples and oranges. What an effing loser of a human. Um, I'm sure Kaepernick is sitting at home thinking, ah, seriously? No, I doubt Kaepernick even knows what's going on. So Warner Todd Houston, his article over on Breitbart, Nick Bose is doubling down on his support for Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump in the face of social media attacks over his on-air MAGA hat stunt on Sunday. Bosa became the target of enraged leftists after he showed off his Make America Great Again cap by jumping in on live TV interview between NBC sideline reporter Melissa Stark and 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy. After the game, Bosa did not belabor the MAGA hat point and said, I'm not going to talk much about it. He already covered that. Still, he did post about the incident on social media, and that is when the leftists kicked in with their vitriol into high gear. Despite the left's crying, though, Bosa has doubled down and even proudly posted about his MAGA hat trick on his Instagram stories page, according to Fox News. Ah, so he even, he even took to Instagram. Even more. Sweet. Uh, Sunday Night Football also tried to shut down Bosa's political opinion by attempting to edit out his MAGA hat appearance during Stark's post-game interview with Purdy. That is until fans got furious and forced the NFL to reinstate the full video replete with Bosa's video bombing of the interview. Yeah, I guess that was tossed around a little bit yesterday that uh, NBC decided to post an edited clip of the interview on social media and people didn't were not too happy about it. And then suddenly... That video got removed. Hmm. So there you go. Nick Bosa making some news, making some lefties angry just because he wore a hat. What do you guys think about this? Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.